You know, our next guest from eight seasons of that 70s show back when he was a boy, now he is a man who gives voice to the new Disney animated movie, Encanto. Ah. Uh. We say nothing. Abuela wants tonight to be perfect. To the Guzman's leave, you did not break into Bruno's tower. The magic is not dying. The house is not breaking. Luisa's gift is not fading. No one will know. Just act normal. No one has to know. I know. Encanto opens the theaters a week from tomorrow. Say hello to Wilmer Valderrama. <laughs> You look very handsome, by the way. Thank you, sir. Thank you very well, much. Last time I saw you, you were a single man. Um, uh, women were uh, begging you to make love to them. Uh, you had not a care in the world, and now I mean, you're... So much has changed, you know. You've changed. become a father now. Yes, yes. You're, uh, you've really grown up. I really have. You know, I think uh, the suit stayed the same size. I'm very grateful yeah. uh, for that. But uh, how's yeah. everybody feeling tonight? I'm so much very, very good. Thank you. It's just Jimmy, it's my first talk show in a very long time. Is it really? Yes, dude. How long has it been? I mean, I, I, uh, one of the producers told me that I guess I haven't been back in, in almost 10 years. What? Is that right? Oh, my God. You actually look a little bit better. Oh, thank you. Sir. Yeah. Thank you very much. You know, and I, so I started to feel uh, very close to, like, what probably Matt Damon feels like. Oh, is that right? <laughs> I was like, maybe this was on purpose. But... You're not supposed to say that name. Bad things happen. <laughs> he would appear. You have a baby girl, right? I have a baby girl. Her name is Nakano Shiana uh, Valderrama. And, uh, Nakano? She, yeah, Nakano. She's, uh, she turned uh, nine months uh, yesterday. Nine months? Oh, that's great. Is it a family name, Nakano? No, I, Nakano was a name. Uh, it was inspired by a trip to Japan that my, my lady and I uh, did. That was a trip where we, we said I love you to each other and where we kind of both agree that a family is what we wanted with each other. So when we went to name our daughter, we said, um, how can we commemorate that day where she was a possibility? And we went back to a, an ancient war, female samurai, an Ana Bugeja, a uh, female samurai by the name of uh, Takeko Nakano. So we just took the Nakano and gave her that, that oh. strong Japanese name. Oh, it's a name. Japanese name. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Oh. And, my, and my lady is a scuba diver. She's a dive master. So of course she, she uh, is. She's of Oceana. She... Uh, <laughs> that's why. I always name. knew you'd one day marry a scuba master. <laughs> <laughs> I said that, right? Yeah. Back in, yeah. I think in I mean, I was 2005. For a mermaid, but yeah, I, I settled with the diver. You know? I said, one day you're going to settle down in the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> you know, um, I think it was exactly that way. You this that. Uh, movie Encanto, I, I, one, I was reading a review of it. This critic said it's the best Disney animated movie in six years, which yeah, is, it's, it's, there's been some pretty good ones. I, I'd say so. I'd say so. No, I, I, I got to tell you, they, they released a little clip in which they did a memory lane of, of all 59 titles that they have released to date. And they proudly announced uh, the 60th uh, animated feature by the Walt Disney Animation Studios. Um, and it was in Canto. And, uh, and the screen was filled with butterflies and flowers. And, and to be the 60th film and the legacy of films that you know, have shaped so much about how we wonder about life and how we dream about things and how we believe in ourselves. And our whole um, childhood. I mean, our whole childhood. And, and mo multiple generations of childhood when you really think about mm -hmm. that. And, uh, it's, uh, it's nothing short of an honor, you know? And yeah, that has to be crazy to see, you know, Snow White and Peter Pan and The Lion King and then this movie that you're it's, in. No, I was in tears. I By mean, the way, I, your I, yeah. daughter will not appreciate that at all. <laughs> Just so you know, when she sees it, she'll be like, like, okay, Dad, uh, can we get pizza? Yeah. That's how it will go. Yeah, no, I think I've subliminally been trying to do a lot of stuff um, I mean, I started with Handy Manny, if you remember back in the oh, day. Oh, yeah, you did Handy Manny, yeah. that's right. And, yeah. Thank you. And I, I, I started with Handy Manny because I remember my nephew, which, by the way, I brought my nephew to watch the Wiggles here with you one time. Oh, that's right. the Wiggles to, were here, yeah. The audience, you know? And, uh, <laughs> and he was like, you know, he was really young. So I, I, I developed the, with Disney Handy Manny because of that same reason, because I saw what he was watching. I thought, man, he really needs to grow up with something uh, that reminds him of who he is and he can see himself in it. So that came uh, from there. And then coming full circle, I feel like I've been banking all this content from my daughter when she goes older. But Yeah, right, fun. yeah.
Yeah, you, you, each generation of children in your family, you have something for them. <laughs> Do you right. think God gave you a daughter to punish you for um, <laughs> being so... I mean, did that occur to you at all? It doesn't feel like a punishment, but now that you mm-hmm. mentioned it... It will, eventually. <laughs> <laughs> Because you know I think about you a lot and what you're up to and all that stuff. No, you do. Yeah, I'm always interested in everything. Were you in the delivery room? I was. You were? I was, and I was really blessed because, you know, during COVID, um, you know, our our, our baby, and and I I want to give a shout out to my lady because, you know, she went through an entire pregnancy, gave birth, and the first eight months of that baby's life in the middle of a world pandemic, she, she couldn't even leave the house. But Not the ideal time. Yeah. Not the ideal time, but in many ways, uh, a very serendipitous time to, to really build the bond and really, really figure out what are we when we are, right? When we are parents. And I think uh, being in the delivery room was one of the most magical things I've ever experienced and, and also one of the funniest experiences of my life. Why, why was uh, it funny? <laughs> I don't know, I just took it so serious. And as we say in the streets, I think I did uh, the most. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy. So on the left hand, I have her left leg. Uh huh. And with the right hand, I have the back of her neck. And I am just talking over the doctor, telling her exactly, baby, through, you gotta push through the bottom, like loose your lower abs. Push with your lower abs. She's like, oh, okay. And the doctor says, okay, he's doing fine. Just keep telling her what you're saying. Okay. And then finally, I just like, well, but we kind of need music. I feel like we need music in the room. We need like a soundtrack. And the doctor and the nurse is looking at me like, is he serious? And then, and then I, I tell, hey, babe, what, what song do you want to listen to right now? And she's in the middle of pushing. She goes, push it. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, All right. <laughs> and you know what? She pushed it real good. One more ball drama, everybody. And Tonto opens the theaters a week from tomorrow. We'll be back with Gracie Abrams. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel, and I am not allowed to eat this cookie until you click the subscribe button, so please click now. I'm hungry.